Hey, what's up there everybody? Jamie Wagner here again. Hey, thanks a lot for watching my video here, guys. What I have here is the Android 4.4 system update. Um, this is the first time that I'm seeing the update on my Google Nexus 7 2013 second generation tablet. I have the 32 gig version here and I currently have Android 4.3 on it and I'm getting ready to restart and install the Android 4.4 system update. As you can see, it says right here that has downloaded and verified at 242.5 meg. So let's go ahead and install Android 4.4. Let's see what it does here. This is the very first time that I'm installing it on my Nexus 7. And I thought I'd do a quick video here. Apparently has a lot of new features, and uh, I'm pretty excited about getting it on my tablet. Let's see here, installing system update. There's our little Android guy installing the system update. I guess KitKat 4.4 has a lot of new features and some printing to cloud features or whatever. I don't know yet. I haven't even got into it really, but pretty excited about this. So I'll be playing with my tablet all night long, messing around with KitKat. So it's pretty cool. Again, I don't know how long this is going to take. I just simply want to do a video of it since it's the very first time that uh, my tablet received <clears throat> the update so I just uh, got home I was out doing some stuff uh, come back and my tablet had the update on here ready to go so it automatically downloaded and uh, all I had to do is install it I was going to go ahead and put it on here manually. I guess a lot of people already have it on, but um, I figured I'd just wait till it officially was available and came down, came down the pipe, and I just went ahead and uh, did the automatic installation here. Looks like it's moving along there pretty good. It'll be interesting to see the new comments and all the new videos on, you know, everyone's reaction to it and how well it's performing on their uh, devices. So I'll be looking for all that good stuff and I'll probably do a review on it a little later and uh, upload another video on doing a review f um, using KitKat. Looks like it's almost done there. Just about finished up. I'm just wondering if I'm going to have to sign in or if it's just going to jump me to the home screen and we'll have to see here what it's going to actually do. If it retains my settings and that'll be nice too, I'll know. So if you guys haven't done this yet, um, I'd go ahead and do it. Get it on there and see what you guys think. So we're back here at the Google logo. Really don't have much to say about KitKat yet. I have not used it at all. So this will be my first experience with it. Oh, cool. That's pretty neat. It's the absolute first time I've seen that. So that's pretty cool.
Android is upgrading. Ooh, looks like it's doing, oh, it's optimizing my apps. Moving along there pretty good. Looks like it's um, gonna optimize all my apps, 101 apps. So it's already at 36 there. <clears throat> 66 it's moving along pretty good I haven't really read any reviews or anything on the Nexus 5 uh, running KitKat, so I don't know if it's if it's a huge improvement or or what, but but I'll sure figure it out here after a while. Spend some time using it. So there we go, finishing boot. Oh, cool. Looks like they changed the way the time looks there, I believe. Let's spin this back around here. see what we got all right well looks like the apps the apps there look a little different so I'll have to go in here and uh, take a look so I get this thing to focus but anyway there you go that's the uh, the install of uh, Android 4.4. Um, I'm going to spend some time here. I'll do another video uh, reviewing it later, but thanks a lot for watching my video here, guys, and I hope you guys have a good one.